to episode 68 of the Snowflake SnowPro Advanced Architect Certification In-Depth Training Podcast, brought to you by Bright Flux. I'm your host, Yakub Abdul Hakim, a certified Snowflake user, and today we're diving deep into the world of continuous integration and continuous deployment, abbreviated as CI and CD in Snowflake. This in-depth exploration is designed to not only enrich your knowledge, but also prepare you for your certification exams. Let's begin by understanding what CI and CD are in the realm of cloud data warehousing with Snowflake. Continuous integration, CI, is a development practice where developers frequently merge code changes into a central repository, preferably several times a day. The goal here is to minimize the integration challenges that developers face, promoting a more agile and error-free development process. On the other hand, continuous deployment, CD, takes these principles a step further by automatically deploying all code changes to a production environment after the build stage. This means that any approved changes can go live, ensuring that users always have access to the latest features and fixes. Now let's delve into the best practices for implementing CI and CD in Snowflake. First and foremost, version control is fundamental. Utilizing Git, for instance, is not only beneficial, but essential. It allows for a systematic approach to managing changes, ensuring that all alterations are documented and can be traced back to their origin. Additionally, consider adopting branch policies to manage contributions effectively. Moreover, Automated testing plays a crucial role in both CI and CD pipelines. In Snowflake, this involves utilizing tools like Snowflake scripting, SnowSQL, or even external tools like DBTE, Data Build Tool, to run tests against your Snowflake objects. These tests ensure that your data models, views, or stored procedures work as intended before they are deployed to production. Furthermore, deployment strategies in Snowflake can vary, but it's vital to choose the one that best suits your project's needs. Incremental deployment, for instance, updates only the changed parts of the code, reducing deployment time and minimizing risk. On the contrary, full deployment can be more straightforward, but may introduce more downtime. Additionally, environment management in Snowflake is crucial for successful CI CD. Use Snowflake's features to create multiple environments such as development, testing, and production, ensuring that each environment is isolated and can be managed independently. This not only assists in the smooth running of CI CD pipelines, but also in testing the impact of changes without affecting the production data. Lastly, monitoring and logging are indispensable components of any CI CD pipeline in Snowflake. They not only provide insights into the health of the deployments, but also offer valuable data for troubleshooting and improving the deployment process. Utilize Snowflake's capabilities such as query history and warehouse metrics to keep a keen eye on your deployments. In conclusion, adopting best practices for CI and CD in Snowflake can significantly enhance the agility and reliability of your development process. By emphasizing version control, automated testing, careful deployment strategy selection, effective environment management, and diligent monitoring and logging, you're setting the stage for a successful CI CD pipeline that aligns with the rigorous standards demanded by the Snowflake SnowPro Advanced Architect Certification. Remember, continuous learning and adaptation are key to staying at the forefront of cloud data warehousing technologies. Thank you for joining me in this in-depth episode on CI and CD in Snowflake. I hope it has provided you with valuable insights to aid in your exam preparation and beyond. Until next time, this is Yakub Abdul Hakim, wishing you success in your snowflake journey.